What's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What if Naruto was raised to be evil by Orochimaru and yeah guys, it is an unscripted short movie. Now before continuing this, yes, it is my own idea. But don't worry, it is a pre-recorded story that I recorded, you know, the day my internet was off. I didn't just upload it then. So yeah, I thought why not just upload it today. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this one and if you do then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and don't worry, I'm still searching for your ideas. Wow, you send me a lot of ideas. Yeah, I'm gonna make a good movie, I promise. Anyways, enough said, without any further ado, let's begin with our today's short movie. Our story begins on October 10th in night time in Konoha Gakuren Sato. As we go towards the said village outer walls where we see shinobis were gathered in the form of a formation. Even the retired shinobis were there, as even the previous Okage was there in the front lines, as all of them were battle ready. But some of the shinobis were worried about the old man in front of them. Hiruzen sama, I know you were the Hokage in the past, but is it okay for you to be here? After all, we're facing it now, this time around. Whether we're facing it or any other foe, it is the duty of Akage, whether retired or not, to be at the battlefield, leading and taking charge of his men. Minato is not present here, and it is my duty, as his predecessor, to do so. But what if something happened to Minato? No. Minato must have been busy with something important. Or he must have been held up, because obviously something went wrong since the Biju is here. It is up to us to defend our home people against the Kyubi no Yoko, or at least buy enough time until Minato gets here and deals with it. Steal your resolve, men, because you might not see the tomorrow sunrise, or who knows, you might will. Are you ready? Hi, said everyone in unison, as on in front of them we see a huge fox visage with nine tails looming over them. While this was going on, on the other side, behind the Hokage monument, in the deep forest we see that. A battle between two men was going on, as they were blurs who were clashing against one another. As now we see a masked person was kneeling down on the ground panting heavily. As there in a yellow flash appeared in front of him a man with two tri-pronged kunais in his hand. Each. Tell me, why should I not put you to out of your misery? After everything you have done, to harm my family? To harm my village? <laughs> because you won't. I won't give you enough chance and time. Huh, says the man who is on his knees and can't even continue the battle. Look behind you, Minato. Isn't there something that you're missing entirely? As Minato's eyes widened with realization, behind him he saw the huge visage of a fox that was thrashing his men left and right like they were ragdolls. What? <laughs> it is as I have said. Now you have two choices. Come after me and finish your fight, like you said. Or go and save your pathetic village. I will I will not let this slide, whoever you are. Madara Uchiha. Remember the name. I will come back for what I have freed. With that said, Mother disappeared into thin air. Or the person claiming to be. As Minato gripped his kunais, as now we see Minato coming to his senses, as he disappeared from there in a yellow flash and arrived at the home, the safe house, in which Kushina with the triplets were present. Minato, what happened? The cube is out there. You haven't done anything? No, I was dealing with the intruder. He got away. Damn it. What are we gonna do about the Biju now? There is no other way. We have to seal the Biju in the children. This is the only way, Kushina. Damn it. Knowing my condition, I can't. I'm barely holding on as it is. But Minato, you, we can't sacrifice ourselves. Remember your senses prophecy, right? How can I forget? We're gonna use what we discussed. The eight pentagram seal each. But who are we going to choose? Menma and Mito, since they are the oldest ones. It is the most obvious choice, right? As now we see Minato and Kushina, after taking some chakra pills and regaining her chakra, arrived at the battlefield with both of their oldest children, while leaving behind their clones to take care of the youngest. As now we see, both of them were placed in the altar. As Kushina was taking care of the seal preparation, Minato summoned Kamabunta. As the huge toad appeared, he was quite confused. Huh? Where am I? What the hell? 
Why is that fox here? Kid, where are you? Chief, I need your help. I can see why, but you know that is a Biju, right? Even if I am the Chief Toad, I can hardly do anything. Just buy us some time. That is all that is all we need. Fine, kid. But don't expect anything much more than that. A few minutes at top. That'll be that'll be best, Chief. Alright, here I go. As unsheathing his katana, the huge toad leapt in the air and had butted the Biju, which now seemingly was out of trance as with more aggression now it charged towards the huge toad. As Minato, then taking charge of his men alongside Hiruzen, was also aiding the toad while Kushina on the other side was almost done. While this was going on, there was another spectator watching this all from afar. And that spectator was none other than Orochimaru, one of the Sanin as well. My oh my, what do we have here? As suddenly from the shadows, a voice was heard, Orochimaru-sama. Oh, do you bring me any good news, my young student? Y yes. There is a third child that is quite literally unintended by the, well, Minato-sama and Kushina-sama right now. Good, good. Where is it? I have brought it with me. Ah, you done me good then. It seems we have everything we need here. But my lord, are you, are you questioning me? I only wanted revenge on Minato for taking away the position and on Sensei for choosing him over me. And what better way to take away their son? <laughs> oh, Minato, you don't even realize what I have taken and what you have granted me because of your own arrogance. As before waiting an eye, Orochimaru disappeared as soon as he arrived. As on the other side in the battlefield, their plan was successful as the Kiwi was sealed away. As everyone cheered for Minato and Kushina, as that is when their clones poofed away after not finding Naruto anywhere. And both of the parents got memories. No, Naruto. As amongst this cheer and celebration that the QB was defeated with zero deaths on the other side, we see that Minato and Kushina were indeed saddened that they have lost their newborn son Naruto. As now we see, after everything seemingly calmed down and the injuries were attended to, in Hokage office, Hiruzen Kakashi was present alongside with Kushina and Minato, as the two children rested in a basket nearby. W what could have happened? The memories from the clones got back to us. There was nothing we could see, everything was blank, something erased our clones' memories it seems, said Minato. Minato, that is not so simple as you are saying, erasing one's clone memory. One has to be quite skillful enough to do so. I know Hiruzen Sama. Whoever it was, he did it with plan, precision, and knowing that this will happen. Meaning that he was involved with the Moss person? Could be. But why would they take Naruto? The Moss person willingly said that he will come back for what he has left. The QB, obviously. You're right about that. Maybe he was working for someone else and he wanted to get back at you. But my son, Minato, our son, said Kushina. As Minato then said, we have to find him. Sensei, the shinobis are as they are, they can't fight. I'll go out there. Said a wounded Kakashi, no. You're going to rest here. You're wounded Kakashi. I will go. No, Minato, you can't leave. Said an elder as she arrived inside. It was Koharu. What do you mean, Koharu? He's worried about his son. He has to go. They might be nearby. I'm afraid you have to wait for that. Your son, if they have taken, it will be for ransom or any other stupid demand that we will hear soon said a male voice as in came Danzo Shimura, another prime member of the, well, so-called elders of the village. Danzo, watch your tone, that is my son you are talking about, said Kushina. Listen to me, Kushina, I am being logical and reasonable here, and besides, what would have you done? You were going to fulfill the prophecy, leave the child here anyways, in the orphanage. The child would have never done any good to you or your family name and not only that you would have basically casted aside that child no i wouldn't have and uzumaki never leave one of their behind and right minato we were supposed to be kushina is right we were going to bring him into a family even if it meant we left after this all we we were 
obviously gonna bring him back into the family i'm not gonna I'm, i was not gonna do this to my child and still am not gonna i'm going to find him <sighs> we will but as of now the council has gathered and they're demanding your presence because of what has happened everyone is very sick they want to know what happened exactly damn it as this was going on in konaha after the QB attack on the other side we go towards a village that was hidden between the rice country not even the rice country itself knew about the otogakure the sound village as inside it we see in the main lab was orochimaru as he was currently monitoring over the baby in front of him it is obvious that as a, i have to take a female body to take care of him as a mother to fulfill the conditions and needs hmm i guess so as that is when Orochimaru turned into a female because he could do this as after doing so we see a female Orochimaru picked up Naruto I will raise you as my son Naruto and I will raise you so so that you will burn this world you will have the power to take everything away from this as they say one man's trash is another man's treasure you will be my ultimate weapon and treasure Naruto won't you as after that we see a few years passed as we go towards Minato and Kushina as they were in the ruins of the Uzumaki village the Uzushio Gakure they were able to build a stable home there and move in there with Manma and Mito after two years of searching since they couldn't find any source or any clues about Naruto they had to give up because this was the shinobi world and Naruto was an infant child who could even do anything. So either he died out of hunger, cold, Kushina didn't want to think about it and neither did Minato. So to forget the endings of their pain, they had to leave and Jiraiya also knew they had to continue the training of the kids so he moved in with them alongside with Tsunade. As two Sanins and the parents with the family moved into Uzishio Gakure and build it a home there for the kids as now we see six-year-old man man mito training with jiraiya and with sonade and after their training was finished we see minato and kushina arrived we're back from the town nearby ah both of you are back what did you brought some fish and some well you know rice ah good we'll be having that soon how was the training going for both of you said kushina everything was going smooth kachan I'm going to tear Menma apart once once we have our own battle. Oi, I'm your sibling and oldest one, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or are you a wimp that you're scared of me? Oh, you wanna go, or don't you, slug girl? Huh? Bring it on, frog boy. Jeez, I can't believe they act like both of you when you were younger. Said another old man that arrived there. Sensei what are you well i took some days off and well i arrived here since i was worried about you and wanted to visit since you didn't reply to any of my letters jiraiya sorry sensei we were well you know busy with both of them as you can see yes i can see that is good the training has been going good oh it's iruzen sama the hokage of the hidden leaf village right tojan <laughs> well i am for the time being but it is your father's duty since he is the hokage yes we know about that said mito good good as after that we see as the children were allowed to play for the time being inside the adults talked with themselves why are you here sensei it's about orochimaru what i found some clues that in naruto the night naruto disappeared as both minato and kushina got silent and sad Remembering the loss of their youngest, it still hurted them a lot. As Jiraiya then said, Sensei, what do you mean? What does Orochimaru has anything to do with this? <sighs> he was there. His residue was found. Chakra residue. It, it was so faint that I, I, I don't know how it is possible, but it was found. And we have found one of the spies of Orochimaru in between, thanks to Anko. So you think that it is him who has taken? Yes. Orochimaru has been hiding for the time being. Try to investigate him, Jiraiya. Sensei. 
You know I am. I know. But I request you to do so. If he has Naruto, then there is a chance that we might be able to get him back. Sensei, please. If there is still hope, I will find my son. Please help me do so. Said Minato as tears welled up in his eyes. He wanted to find his son. As now we see, on the other side, in Otogakure, Naruto was just finished killing two of the projects of Orochimaru. As she appeared there, getting out of her throne and standing in front of her son, whose hands were covered in blood. Splendid young Naruto, you have made your Kachan proud. She said as she picked him up and hugged him close. Say, young Naruto, what is it, Kachan? What do you wish for in life? For a father or a mother? Since I can be both, I can be anyone, anything you want me to be. I like you as you are, mother. Hmm, I see. I'm happy with this. You know, a family of my own. My own child. Said Orochimaru. As Naruto was now placed on bed to rest. As after putting him to rest, we see that Orochimaru was called Orochimaru-sama. What is it, Kabuto? You know very well that I am busy with my son. As Kabuto Yakushi, one of Orochimaru's loyalists, was now shivering because since Orochimaru has turned into woman and has taken the role of Naruto's mother, everything has changed. She has been mentally obsessed with Naruto to the point that she has been nurturing Naruto to be someone who could destroy everything. Naruto has been a killing machine now at the age of six already. He has killed at least Kage level threats already and he could do nothing but just watch from the sidelines. As now we see, Orochimaru was now standing in front of you. What do you wish to speak? Speak or are you going to stand there? Said Orochimaru as her yellow eyes bore into, well, Kabuto's skull. It is, it is our spies. They have been found out in Konoha. What? By whom? It was the root. And they, they, they threatened us. They wanted to meet you. More like their leader wants to. Donzo Shimura. What does he want with me? I, I don't know. And you came here. You fool. As suddenly, Kabuto, Kabuto was saved as a slash went nearby his neck. As a small seal was re removed from his skin thanks to Orochimaru. Tracker seal. As suddenly there was smoke bombs and out stood huge amount of fruit shinobi and there in their center was Danzo Shimura himself. Well, well, quite a get up there Orochimaru. I did not knew that you were into cosplay. I am who you see me as. I am a woman now, said Orochimaru, as she gritted her teeth. Huh, you can be whatever you wish to be, I don't care. What I care about is, why do you possess the child of Minato no Mikaze and Kushina Uzumaki here? As Naruto, waking up, waking up from all of this mess, now stood out of his room, looking at everything. Mother, what is going on here? Nothing to worry about, my son. Some intruders, as you can see. Do you wish for me to take care of them? Hmm, said Orochimaru, thinking for a bit as she had a huge sinister smirk. Go ahead, she said, as Naruto, in a millisecond, as Orochi, as Danzo witnessed, disappeared, and then seconds, um, and a second later, he was standing in front of Danzo himself with two blades that were dripping drop by drop to the ground with blood. As suddenly. Huge amount of blood fountains emerged everywhere as the necks were cleaned off of the root shinobis that were standing there. Astanza was impressed and scared for the first time in his life. What? What is this? Is this really a kid? What kind of training did he put, put him in, put him through, to be turned into a monster? You dare to hurt my mother, in our home. Why, Mister? I. She is not sure before he could speak, Orochimaru cut it off his tongue. So he couldn't, as Danzo fell back on his back, screaming in agony, but all he could do was yell in mute. As suddenly Naruto cleaved off his neck without any mercy. As Naruto began to walk back, 
Rachimaru said, Naruto dear, please hand off those blades to Kabuto nearby and go wash yourself before going to bed. Hi, hi, I know, mother. As after that, the blades were handed off to Kabuto who was stunned and shocked standing there. Those were as strong shinobis. And Tanzo himself was a seasoned one. Wiped out. Just like that. This is... This is so scary. As now we see, Kabuto once holding those blades felt huge amount of pressure as the blades fell to the ground while he was still grabbing onto them. As his eyes widened once more, what is this? They're so heavy. How is he able to move at that speed and use them and make them seem like they're so light? What have Orochimaru-sama done to this boy? This boy is a monster. As after that, we see Naruto arrived after changing his clothes and went to bed. On the other side, inside his own office or her office now, Orochimaru was seated. As there was a knock on the door and in came Kabuto himself. What do you wish to speak of, Kabuto? What now? I was wondering, Orochimaru-sama. What? Speak already. I, I was wondering, what is your plan with the boy? Naruto, what do you mean? What kind of mother won't plan for his son, Orochimaru-sama? You brought him here because I thought you wanted to do some experiments and... Oh, is that what you thought? Well, that is what I thought at first as well. The first few years, I gave him some of the serum that I made. Enhancements, as you say. They were successful ones, obviously because I didn't want it to harm or hurt the infant child. But as I have taken this form, I have grown accustomed to it. Call it maybe the maternal instinct, as one might say, which intrigued me to no end. I was grown fond of him and cared deeply for him. But, but you know that he is, I know he is their child, but he's not, by, aside from by birth, nothing else. To them he is my son you hear my son and my son alone i have changed and altered his dna he is now officially my son what but how i destroyed his dna he's no longer an uzumaki or an amikaze he is my son now only mine as for the first time kabuto was scared orochimaru's insanity has grown to another level and not only that he has created a monster, a monster as a son in the form of Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, or at least what was in front of him of his, this boy. As on the other side, we go inside Naruto's room where we see him watching the ceiling. <sighs> I can't believe she can't think that I still can hear her, but she is right. I mean, she has been a family to me, and plus, I don't no why but i i can't seem to hate her not like she did anything bad to me aside from all the needles that she poked while i was an infant child but i don't hold against her because i don't remember huh. what do you want me to be mother you have given me strength you've given me well a purpose but what do you wish now that you have fulfilled your desire for what you wanted from me I wonder. As this was going on, we go towards the other side where we see back in Konoha, the council meeting was held as Hiruzen has returned and so has Jiraiya with him. What? Danzo has gone missing and and passageways have been discovered. Yes, passageways have been discovered as well. As that is when a shinobi arrived. Hokage-sama, I, I apologize since this is a council meeting but a shinobi has arrived. What shinobi? From what village? Not from any village, it is from our village. He says he's true Tanbu. What? Bring him in. As everyone looked at each other and then at the root shinobi. My name is not important. I am a root Anbu and this is my last duty from Danza Sama. It is to deliver the scroll in case something happens to him. He has delivered me the scroll before leaving on a mission. We seem like a suicide run. As everyone else wondered, as once the scroll was opened, the shinobi began to read it. 
If you're reading this scroll, then that means I am no longer in this world. Something has happened. I have found out where Orochimaru is hiding. His hideout is nearby in the rice country. And there are three huge trees and two seals placed on the two of them. The third tree, after you rip out its seals, a pathway opens downstairs underneath the ground where his whole village is located. That is the place where he lies. And I have found out that a blonde haired boy is with him all the time. So I went to investigate on my own. I highly doubt that it might be any other boy aside from Namikaze's son. So that is all. As after that we see, giving off the location, Danzo didn't say much but his words even though enough said it all. As after throwing the scroll away, the shinobi disappeared. <sighs> Danzo, you idiot. He rather went alone rather to tell us or Rochimaru would have moved. I don't think so. If he has given this scroll to us, it is worth a shot to just try to go there and find out. Maybe we'll be able to find out layers of his bases. And after we're able to find it, who knows, maybe we'll be able to raid and find in everyone and every every base to find at least one in which he is hiding. It is not as simple as you say, Jiraiya. You brought me back, Sensei. At least let me do this. <sighs> Fine. Go ahead. As now we see Jiraiya and some of the shinobis were sended. As once they arrived at the said location, after entering they found it abandoned. Completely. No soul was there. Only a note. It was for Orochimaru himself. Leave me and my son alone. You and Minato and Kushina have thrown the boy away anyway to the orphanage. I took the chance and found solace in the boy. He is my son now. I have destroyed his bridge between you and him. He is no longer a Namikaze Uzumaki. I altered his DNA. This is a warning, Jiraiya. Next time, I won't be so lenient. Damn it. He anticipated that I would have been the one sent to investigate. He even left this note. What does he mean he has destroyed the bridge between him and his family? I need to find out. For the time being, what should we do uh, at Orochimaru's base, Jiraiya-sama? Search out, find any clues that you can. As the shinobis dispersed, as Jiraiya himself began to investigate. After searching left and right, he was able to find a room that was open. And inside it, he was able to find something that was akin to a book that shocked him. Inside it, it was pictures. Pictures of female Orochimaru. What? And an infant child. As he watched through all the pictures and found something disturbing. Naruto was a m killing machine created by Orochimaru. Oh my god. What have you done? You so sociopathic idiot. I have to go back. Everyone, we are leaving. As all the shinobis with Jiraiya left with the book. As on the other side, in a secret hidden base, away from the main one at the time being, we see Orochimaru asking her son, What is it, my boy? Mother, I forgot our picture book back at home. Don't worry, my boy. We'll be able to create a new one there. But what if you set the bad men and find it? Don't worry. Let them. Not like they can do anything about it. You're right about that, but it was important to me. <sighs> Maybe we'll find it. Maybe they haven't taken. I'll go back once we settle down here to see if they have taken it or not. As now we see on the other side back at Konoha after a few days as the team returned. Minato and Kushina were called back with Menma and Mito as well, as they were shown the picture book in which the pictures of Naruto and female Orochimaru was. That bastard! said Kushina as she was shaking with rage. He, he altered his DNA, didn't he? He's not an Uzumaki or an Amikaze anymore, but he is my son. I give birth to him. I will have him back. I'm gonna kill that bitch said Kushina as everyone else was enraged as well so an operation was arranged to track them down once more but it took them a few years as Naruto reached at the age of 12 by the time their new home was attacked unannounced one night as Naruto tried to enter 
We see Naruto was neck chopped and knocked out. With chakra suppressor placed on him, he was taken. Since it was a surprise attack and he was a kid, he couldn't do anything. As Naruto woke up inside a room, his eyes were covered with a with something, a cloth or something. His hands were tied and he could feel weakness coursing through his body. Where is this? Mother? Are you here? Where are you? Son? Said a different voice. Is that you, Naruto? Who are you? You're not my mother. I am your mother. I am Kushina. Your real mother. No. No. My mother's name is Orochimaru. Where is she? That damn snake is not your mother. Don't you dare say that, those words about my mom. Where is she? As Kushina tried to calm her son down, but he wouldn't. If anything, Naruto was getting more and more anxious and violent, to the point that they had to knock him out cold. As after that we see, Naruto continued to act up as such. While this was going on, on the other side, the council was deciding to finally put an end to Orochimaru and his madness. So a public execution was announced and decided, as Orochimaru was to be publicly executed. As this was going on, Naruto watched this from his jail cell window. No, no, mother! As Orochimaru witnessing her son smile for the last time before, her neck was cleaved off by a sword of the blonde haired man who had a smile on his face as people cheered. And at that time, something snapped inside Naruto. His mind went complete dark. What? Why? We were happy. They took everything from me. It is only right I take everything from them, right, mother? Of course it is. I will do this. I'll tear them to shreds. I'll destroy them all. I hate them said Naruto as his chakra suppressors began to destroy themselves by burning themselves. As Naruto's chakra was so much that it looked like a killer intent spread out throughout the whole village. Naruto destroying the wall then went to rampage. Each and every civilian or shinobi in front of him was ripped apart to shreds. Naruto in his all brute strength and brutality killed and wiped out more than half of the population of Konoha, took the body of his mother and disappeared with a raging eye, looking back at the village once more. As this has happened, the council, which was remaining of it, still traumatized and gathered. We can't let this slide, Minato. Even if he's your son, he's long gone. Rochimaru has corrupted him way beyond. We have to try. He's corrupted. He's just an innocent. Innocent is not the correct word. He destroyed half of the village, killed half of the population. Can't you see that? Jiraiya-sama, please. I'm right. I'm right standing beside you on this one, people. Sorry, Minato. But they are right. I can't always be on your side. That kid has destroyed some, so, so much. We can't let that slide. We can't let him roam free. If not for what he has done here, then what he can do to other villages. He's crazy. He needs to be taken out, Minato. I'm sorry. It's Orochimaru's fault that this has happened and been pushed so far. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Minato. Damn it! Damn it all! As on the other side, Manma and Mito have also witnessed this madness. We have to put an end to this, Nissan. Have we not? There is no other way, Mito. Our little brother, he's... As Manma bit it bit his love at lip as he punched the wall. Damn it! Why our family? Why does this have to happen to him? Why? Now, there's nothing left to do aside from just to finish him. Or otherwise he will finish anyone who stands in his way. As this was going on, on the other side, Naruto right back at their previous home, the first one. As Naruto hugged close his mother's head and her body. Mother, please. Open your eyes. This has happened before you did. But this time no response. Her body was cold. As Naruto cried. Cried for three whole days and nights until he lost his voice completely. He couldn't even speak anymore. As now we see, Naruto then gave burial to his mother. And then his eyes were complete dark. 
surrounded by nothing but emptiness as that is when a member with a black cloak and red clouds a member of an akatsuki approached him your naruto right naruto is a makino mikaze and suddenly a huge metal rod went whizzing straight through next to his face grazing it so hard that he was bleeding continuously don't you dare use that name my name is naruto naruto alone son of orochimaru what do you wish i i have a proposition for you are you willing to join the akatsuki no now leave me alone then i'm afraid i can't leave you alone if you're not with us you're against us as naruto then ripped his man's neck so hard that his neck was broken with just a single snap as naruto stood on the other side these people seemingly don't understand said naruto with the little voice that he had left it seems that this whole world is like them maybe i should just get rid of them they all deserve to die after all as naruto then began to venture out into the world leaving the dead body of the dead akatsuki member which was none other than hidan himself the immortal that was killed as naruto ventured he saw many many bad things and while he left he left destruction behind him first was takigakure he saved who another tormented soul like him and brought her in she was a year older than him and brought happiness to him for the time being they were like family but that was all lost when the remaining takigakure members who she had saved attacked them and killed her naruto was heartbroken again and this time in his rage he didn't only stopped at takigakure but took off of tsuna with a single attack of his which was the dragon flame jutsu the dragon flame used more than 80% of his chakra but it was a huge dragon that could last miles ahead since taki was near tsuna both taki and half of tsuna gakure was wiped out of the face of the elemental nations map in a single attack as naruto after that took the body and buried next to orochimaru back at their home ofu her big sister her other family member that she lost naruto's heart was more crushed than ever he was more broken than ever all thanks to these humans all thanks to these shinobis all thanks to this hatred and Another annoying thing was that these Akatsuki members one after another was just approaching him and all he had to do was just snap their neck one after the other. As Naruto then traveled some more and arrived hiding away from Konoha Shinobi's to Kirigakure where he met with Mei Terumi. A mother another mother like figure an older sister like figure in his life. Since he was 13 She at the age of 25 was able to act like such and was able to guide Naruto bring him somewhat out of his darkness but thanks to Yagura and his men Mei Terumi was nearly on her on her deathbed but Naruto's rage and fear of losing another loved one was so much that he ended up destroying the whole well part of the Kirigakure in which Yagura and his loyalists were present none of them and their family members survived as on the other side may even find out the horrifying scene that has occurred was quite sad but she told naruto that he doesn't need to do this for the first time naruto was happy happy that someone scolded him acted like family to him maybe this was it maybe he was not that far gone but then the past caught up to him kona shinobi attacked and this time led it by his well suppose it's siblings surrender yourself naruto for these all men will die what D- don't hurt them i'll come no naruto we will protect you we won't let them hurt you you have done nothing wrong he might have been a fugitive in your village but he is under kiri now then kiri is no more as both his siblings he watched or supposed ones transformed into the KCM2 state and attacked the remaining rebels or what of what was left of them in injured state as may and everyone fought as naruto tried but he was stopped by manman mito as well at all times no don't do this as manman then said 
It is all your fault, Naruto. It is all because you destroyed Konoha. Konoha. I should have destroyed it all. Naruto's rage grew as he saw Mita was about to stab Mei in the heart. And at that time, Naruto took a step and he disappeared. And the next thing he knew, before the sword could pierce through Mei's chest, a punch was placed in Mito's face so hard that her head exploded, blood splattering everywhere, killing her in an instant. Manma, who was dashing behind Naruto, was shocked and surprised at this, as Naruto grabbing that sword literally cleaved Manma's neck off and stabbed the sword in his body, as each shinobi from Konoha was shocked and traumatized at what has happened. As that is when they looked at Naruto, his eyes were complete, completely different. There was not a single soul and ounce of humanity left in them. You dare try to harm my family once more. Not Naruto? No. Me ni ni sama. I have to do this. In order to protect you, I will lose you again. Like I've lost everyone. I'm not gonna lose you too. Naruto dragging his sword, then said, Now I know where to go. Konoha. As Naruto began his march slowly towards Konoha, as the shinobis tried to stop him, but with a single sword dance of his, they were they were dead on the ground. Mei watched nothing more in horror and shock, as did her men who were wounded badly. Some of them dead, some of them barely clinging on to life. That Naruto began his death march to bring death upon Konoha. As Konoha already got the news of it and sent in many shinobis as they could. And once Minato and Kushina got the news of this, that their children was killed by Naruto, they too were filled with grief and rage. They now knew that they had to put an end to this, put an end to their son. No, this monster that Hiroshimaru created out of their son, Naruto, who has taken their family away from them. As Kushina and Minato as well stood in Konoha, knowing that they had to be ready, as Jiraiya and Tsunade were the ones who favored that they would go. As after they arrived, Naruto even took them down, not even hesitating, using the best of his strength and abilities that he has learned and honed with the Orochimaru, he was able to take them down, cleaving the neck off of Jiraiya with a single slice of his sword and stabbing Tsunade straight throughout the heart and ripping the sword upwards, cleaving her brain in half as well, not giving her enough time to even use the diamond marking seals to heal her wounded heart, killing her as well. The shinobis that were sent after waves after waves were being pushed back and dead. Not even the wounded were escaped. The Konoha became so desperate that it asked for help from Suna and the other villages. Kiri obviously refused, but Eva taking this chance also started a war with Konoha. And also did Akatsuki. Naruto, seeing this all, was enraged. You people. You can't just stay put, can you? All you know is just to cause pain and hatred. If you enjoy it so much, then let me give it tenfold back to you. Naruto, after killing a shinobi, took his katana. And after taking two katanas in his hand, he went on a rampage. A rampage so much that even though those who were fighting against each other stopped and were now running running from the battlefield from the monster that was coming towards them. The evil incarnate, the demon in skin as they called him, as these were the names given to him, as the battle continued for a few mere hours and thousands of shinobis were already down, as Naruto's rage was so mighty that he wasn't just stopping, with mere strength and enhanced senses as well as skills of Kenjutsu, he was taking down shinobis waves of them. As now we see, Kage's min like Minato, Rasa, as well as A and Oniki join forces together, knowing that they had to work together to deal with this threat. So they begin their attacks as Naruto's one arm was even destroyed as well. As Naruto was panting heavily on his knees now, with one arm gone, as surrounding them all was the dead bodies of the shinobis, and that is when the Akatsuki arrived and challenged the Kages, declaring war on all of them again. Naruto's rage finally snapped as he then witnessed that his arm began to regrow. After the regrowth, as his wounds with a steaming sense healed, 
Naruto's chakra was on another level. As with the, he with a single hand seal created a chakra made Susano, just similar to Uchiha's but with blue chakra. As Naruto then said, Secret Chakra Arts. Sage Palm. As a huge palm made out of chakra, pure chakra slab, slammed on all of them on, on the ground from above. As the pressure was so much alone that they were crushed and smeared in paste, only Minato and Kushina were able to escape and none other than the masked person himself. Zetsu, everyone else from the Akatsuki, the other Kages, all were dead. The shinobis, who were barely clinging on to their life, witnessed this with horror. What kind of monster did that bastard create it? And suddenly, his, in his face, throughout the mouth was a katana engraved. Don't you dare call my mother bastard or anything. As that is when Naruto landed in front of them, a katana in his hand. As his eyes were covered with his hair, which was now dripping with blood and sweat. As he began to walk towards them, dragging the katana on the ground. You wanted this, didn't you? You couldn't have just left me alone as I was. I didn't want any of this. I was happy with my mother. It was you all who started this, didn't you? Not at all. We thought we had our son back. I was never your son. If I was your son, you wouldn't have thrown me out as soon as I was born to go on your training trip. How did you? I knew. I knew. I told you I don't... I only have one mother and that was her. You could have let her go, but no. You and your righteous justice because of her previous crimes that she has let go of now, and because of me, you had to execute her. As much as you are to blame, so am I, because I existed. She was dead. My mother died because of me and all of you, and I'll put you all out of misery and soon myself. As after that, Naruto then had a battle between three-way battle at, actually between the mass person as well as the parents and him Naruto and the parents worked together first to kill the mass person which turned out to be Obito Uchiha after him being dead Nar Obito gave his powers to his sensei and her as an apology for creating this monster to end him as the battle continued Kushina and Minato fought with their full potential against Naruto who was now insane and wanted them to end as naruto in the end now we see was panting heavily as another time his arm was cleaved off and not only that this time his one leg from knee down was also cleaved off by kushina as he was on the ground panting heavily parts of his body was stabbed and there was a huge amount of well kunai piercing in his body as well as sun bones as he was panting heavily and coughing huge amount of blood. I'm sorry, son. I hope you find peace and maybe, maybe once everything goes, once once we're there, everything will be fine. You think I'm going down alone? You'll be able to live? As Naruto then used his ultimate technique, substitution jutsu. He substituted himself and used Orochimaru's skin shedding technique to make himself heal again. And then, using 80% of his chakra, he used Flame Sacred Sage Arts, Flaming Dragon. As huge amount of Flaming Dragon was created, those shinobis who remained all were wiped out. The world's population now was less, and the whole elemental nation was shaken, because the five pillars, the five shinobi nations were now destroyed. Aside from Kiri, since it was only half destroyed, and only a few rebels now remained and their leader as well. As Naruto now healed and standing there, looked at the destruction he has caused. <laughs> Pathetic. You took everything away from me. I take everything away from you tenfolds. As they say. <laughs> Pathetic. As Naruto turned and began to walk towards Mei. After his arrival back, Mei welcomed him with open arms. What you did was wrong, Naruto, but I'm not gonna question it why you did. Those people were pushing for it. I didn't want anything to happen to you. I told them that I'll come with them peacefully, but they didn't listen. They even told me that it was my fault that you had to die, so I killed them. You're m my nae I, I won't let them hurt you. I have already lost so much. I don't want 
to lose anyone now. I don't want to lose any one. Said nor does his vision begin to blur out as he fell in May's arm. As May hugged him close as she shed tears, knowing that Naruto has exhausted his body. As he was placed in ICU, as after some weeks of rest, Naruto woke up. Where? You're in, I'm a, you're in Mizu. You're still recovering, Naruto. You should rest. Mizukage-sama will address you now. Mizukage. As May arrived. Nesan. How are you feeling, Naruto? I'm fine. Now that I see you. Mizukage, huh? Well, yes, someone has to take the role. So the other villages. There's no one left, Naruto. You didn't spare anyone. <laughs> Only one village stands now. While the other villages, they are just minor. I won't let them hurt what you have built. Nesan. But I want you to take care of yourself, Naruto. Fall in love with someone, have family. I believe this is what your mother would have wanted, because this is what I want for you. You don't have to protect anyone. I will this time protect you, so let me protect you this time. As Naruto for the first time shed tears, knowing that he had someone left that was willing to protect him as he was willing to protect her. As a few years passed, the village and village prospered and boomed. And not only that, Naruto was finally able to find love with a Konoichi from, well, Kiri and settle down with her. And not only that, he still visited his mother's grave and Fu's grave that he has built. As he walked throughout the ruins of his war, there was still left there as a reminder that what happens when you push someone to their limits and make him into the monster that one fear. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story off guys. I hope you enjoyed this short movie and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.